I'm printing on my Creality Ender 3 KA something that was not sliced with Creality Print. I used Cura Slicer. In this video, I'll show you all about it right here. Hello, Zach here. When I was researching this topic, I ended up using Cura Slicer because I'm so very familiar with Creality Print for my Creality K1 and my Creality Ender 3 V3. KA, which is now currently printing another calibration cube, you know, finding the right settings for Cura Slicer. When I was deep diving into this whole Creality print, I already have made several videos about Creality print, but I can imagine if you are watching this video that you don't want to use Creality print, but your own favorite slice of software, Cura, which kind of settings to play with in order to get calibration cubes and other 3d models because there's more than calibration cubes to print on a 3d printer right in creality print i found by the machine settings that they are using creality os as a g-code flavor i have no idea which kind of g-code flavor that is if it is marlin if it is repeteer if it is rep rep if it is clipper they don't mention that and i don't like that. Creality, if you are watching this video, please do something about it because it's not transparent. People want to have the ability to change or to change a different kind of slicer using your printers. Please do something about that. On the Cura side, I was like, okay, wait, just go for the basics. Taking a normal standard Creality Ender 3 profile and make some changes in there. So these are my settings in Cura Slicer in order to get everything working. Because I have tried many different attempts and I found out that this is the best way to do it for the moment. Within Cura Slicer, you're going to add a printer, a non ulti maker printer, then a non networked printer. There we are going to select a Creality 3D printer, so Creality 3D. And here we are going to take the Ender 3 Pro. You're going to change this into the, in our case, the KE. KE, I will call it one because I have another profile as well. And then we click on add. Of course, now you will get the build plate and stuff like that. The X and the Y, both are equally to a normal, normal Creality Ender 3 Pro, but the height is not 250, it's 240. I think merely also because the hot end is being bigger. So 250, we change to 240. We are going to make this a little bit bigger because one of the things that you need to change in order to get everything working, instead of the Marlin, because Creality Print is using Creality OS, which doesn't seem to work that well. So we select Marlin, come on. We are going to change it into Wrap Wrap. Here, after the G28 code, we are going to add a G29. G29, we set behind it A, B, L. Once that is done, uh, and we click on next. I've got already sliced the model, but we are going over all the print settings right over here. So standard quality, uh, we are going over all these settings here. The layer height 0.2 millimeter is very standard. Line width 0.4. Here we are talking about walls. So uh, line count two for the top and the bottom four. So if you are printing like figurines, stuff like that, you can change this into three. Enter. So wall thickness is uh, 0.8, but if you're going for three walls, then it is 1.2. Top and bottom and film. At this moment, this 20% uh, material. I think the best that works is now at this moment 210 degrees for the filaments. So the print speed, according to Creality Print, most of the settings, if you are going to prepare and you are going to check the normal, you see like here in the speed, it is the print speed 300, infill 300, outer wall 200. So I try to take as much of information over to Cura Slicer. So 300, enter uh, wall speed. So do we see 200 in a wall, 300 out of wall. Out of wall was 200. In a wall, 300, because it is a thing that you don't see. I don't know what to fill in here, but I see that it is grayed out because I changed those two. Top and bottom speed, 
top and bottom speed, top bottom speed, 200, 200. Travel speed, travel speed is also 300, 300. Initial layer speed, initial layer speed, print speed 100, so 100. And skirt brim also 100. Enable acceleration control. Acceleration control is selected, but enable jerk control, it's not selected. So this one we are going to select. Uh, so everything else, I will leave this as it is. This is for a Bowden tube 3D printer, but we have here the KA and the KA is a uh, direct drive printer. So retract, retraction. Oh, it is by the extruder. So these are the settings for the retraction. You know, if you are going to test this out for yourself, you don't have to compare it with the Coreality print, printer profile. It's something that you can test out as well. So the settings that I worked with, I'm going to switch over to the other one. And then you can see which settings that I did use. Because here, the KE standard profile, I've already renamed it. As you can see, 300, everything is selected as I did before and for travel. So these are the settings. So 80, 30, 30, 0, 2, 1. Um, so 0 0.8, so 0 0.80, 0 0.8, 30, like there, 30. Not the skin, combing mode. Uh, I don't see the combing mode here, but I can imagine if you're just going to look for it, you will you will find it. Okay, so th these are the settings that I used as last. I already printed. There's a Benji. Of course, if you're going to see after slicing how it is going to like take one hour and 24 minutes, it's totally fine. It's it's based upon a normal standard reality at 50 millimeters per second save to disk and then you're going to name it whatever it is i'm going to say like benji 2 on my desktop and then save of course you can also take the thumb drive that is with this printer export it to the uh, usb thumb drive put it back into the printer it is a very basic thing and you know after slicing this model it uh, it came out pretty nicely i'm very happy with the results three supports uh, are already said it some sometimes uh, three supports are very handy and uh, also very easily to remove maybe in the future i will make a video about it but this is the uh, the results i know that in cura you saw the time of one hour and 24 minutes and it's something that you probably don't want to have taking so long. This is how you can use your Cura slicer with the Creality K8. Going fast, but first small steps in Cura slicer in order to get faster print speeds along the way. You know, basically I, I don't mind that it will take longer. The basic thing is I, I have a printer that does do the job. When I want to go fast, I uh, I don't want to be reliant on just one single slicer, Creality Print, for example. I know I have made many videos about it and uh, I still want to do them, but I think it's also good to use a different kind of slicer and also forcing a brand like Creality to make their profiles also in Cura Slicer, in Prusa Slicer or any other known slicer on the market make the printers open for the masses instead of using their own slicer software but that is my two cents about it i have calibration cube printed using cura slicer and not reality print so it does work but you need to fine tune in order to get the best slicer settings with your reality and the three v3 ka uh, using Cura Slicer. I am thrilled to show you more about the poor man's Prusa i3 Mark III S that I'm building from scratch using a lot of printed parts and also some other things in order to keep the prices as low as possible. Well, if you never saw one of those videos before, check out the very first one right over here where I start building the frame using 3D printed parts and glue.
right here. 